Today is 20 June at the time of shooting this video. And this is the headline in Bengaluru Times of India, as you can see it here. In Mecca, temperature is 52 degrees Celsius. 68 Indians died, 900 plus people died. It's bigger than any pandemic, any epidemic. Heat wave is the next pandemic. And that's why I'm making this video because I want to tell you that everything in this world, most probably, is a biotech problem and needs a biotech solution. But 26 lakhs Indian, young Indians are just busy becoming doctors while 25 lakh will fail. But who will solve problems like these? That's a question to be asked. Well, it is very comfortable to read here that, you know, from our AC rooms that 52 degree Celsius at Mecca and people died. But don't you think this is going to be the future of Delhi, Chennai, Mumbai, Kolkata, Bangalore, and various mega cities of our country? People will die if we do not take charge. If we just quickly look into other pages of Times of India of today, we see crime increasing, forensic science. So there is a news about hair samples of a popular actor collected for test. Forensic science, life science. Okay, let's move a little ahead and then we have another very thought-provoking article today about why so many animals have to die every year for meat. And the title is Meat for Thought. Why 100 billion animals die every year just because we want non-veg food? Why can't we solve it with sustainable green meat, artificial meat, lab-grown meat? Well, biotech problem. We can save people. Now, there is another news which I uh, probably missed. Let me just quickly bring that up for you. So, there is a news that foul air claims 464 young kids in India every day. Every day, 464 young children die because of pollution. Biotech problem. Needs a biotech solution. Right from the pile of landfill across, which is sitting outside almost every mega city of India, to pollution in water, air, and food. Biotech is the answer. But the problem is, 26 lakh young children are still just targeting the NEET exam and not thinking about other critical problems which our society faces, where you can create solutions and earn billions of dollars. The time has come that India focuses on research. The time has come that we as a nation propel our next generation towards real problem. See, during COVID, we had doctors, right? Then why still people died? Because we didn't have a vaccine, because scientists could not find a vaccine quicker, right? Now that we have bioinformatics and AIML in biology, we can do that. But our children are still stuck with the doctor, becoming a doctor. You can become a doctor, but you cannot do anything without a medicine. And medicines are always created by scientists. Drug development. That is where the future lies. That is where the scope of biotech is. So, my dear friends, if you critically look at any of the newspaper of almost every day, you will find biotech problems. If we are solving these problems, then only we will become a great biotech superpower. And that's my dream. My dream is to see each one of you placed in various biotech companies or maybe you start a biotech company. I would love to mentor you. Let's come together to solve real problems of the society using our biotech knowledge because biotech is the answer to every almost every problem in this world let's come together guys thank you so much for watching let me know your thoughts in the comment section take care bye bye